on tight. We'll talk about ISIS in a second. Just think about the uh, caller we had yesterday who said that they were demonic and satanic. Can we put them on a spectrum of evil? Love you to call on that. 0500 288 291. Now, yesterday we were discussing Islamist militants in Iraq. But are these Sunni Muslim extremists, ISIS, in a different category of evil? How do they compare to the mass murderers of the past? Where do they stand on the historic spectrum of evil? Can you even put them on it? Do we have to go back to the Nazis to find anyone as wicked as this lot? 0500 288 291. Do call us 0500. I say the number. Email vine at bbc.co.uk. John in Hertfordshire emails, when I hear people talk about ISIS, how they've not seen such brutality since the Nazis. Let's not forget Pol Pot and the Khmer Rouge in Cambodia in the 70s when they murdered two million. The similarities with ISIS are shocking. We're looking at the spectrum of evil. We're saying are this lot the most wicked lot we've seen since Hitler's gang. 12.30. Albert Hammond and it never rains in Southern California. Let's just do a few more comments talking about ISIS and then we're going to move on uh, for sure uh, with some relief. Patrick Ude in Aberdeen says ISIS are purely evil. We should just fight fire with fire. I don't know what I'm- I don't know what that means if you've seen them beheading people. Trying to understand them is wrong, but we should not go down that road. I believe the Nazis were also evil, but they were slightly more humane than ISIS. Andrew Doak emails, of course they're not the most evil thing since the Nazis. What about Bosnia, Rwanda, the Khmer Rouge in Cambodia? Somebody also mentioned Shining Path in Peru as well. Every day, says Andrew, there are rapes in the Congo. Humans are just bad. Coming up next, the brick shortage in the UK. How bad is the national brick shortage? Why do we need bricks anyway? Can't you build a house without them? Haven't they got clever ways of just bringing in a truck with a wall and dropping it there? The noises you can hear are from John White, a bricklayer. John, hi. Hello there. I love the sound. And it reminds me of, as a child, actually, somebody built a wall and I used to just watch them doing it. And, of course, it's one of the best skills because you can... I, what I asked you or just off microphone before we started is if, I, if you taught me how to lay bricks and I, I genuinely want to learn, mm. could I then build a house? Uh, it depends how long we're talking. You know, well, give it a, a year. A, I think we're pushing it. At what point would I use a plumb line? Uh, plumb line? No, we don't really use plumb lines anymore. Because I thought you had to drop it from a piece of string. Ooh. Not not nowadays, yeah. What no, uh, now? lasers now. A laser? Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. This conversation about bricks in the meeting is the longest conversation we've had for years okay. on any story. Um, are you against pebble dashing? Uh, of course I am. Yeah, it's horrible, isn't it? Why does anyone <laughs> do that? Absolutely awful. Um, Should it be made illegal? I think so, yes. <laughs> 